I just want to start by saying that this is the second version of this mini documentary about Canon and Atlisa Bay. And the reason for that is because of you. You that are watching this video contribute and are the best critics that I could ever have. After releasing this video, a few of you contacted me. You know who you are and thank you so much, by the way. What you told me was that I have gotten some facts wrong. So here is a new version with the correct facts, I hope. And I really hope you're going to like this video about Canon. Canonen at Liseberg is, in my opinion, the real replacement to Hangover, the old Vekoma boomerang that was located at Liseberg until 2002. The Intamin Woody Balder opened at the park in 2003. Because the good relations that was created with Intamin and Liseberg, Intamin showed them a brand new concept for a roller coaster. This later became the ride Canonen. Kanonen was the first of its kind in the Nordic and the cost was 50 million Swedish crowns or 5 million euros. Kanonen was delivered to Liseberg in 30 containers. The track was completed in just 12 days. Which first sounds very very fast. But when you see the small footprint of Kanonen and the short track it makes perfect sense. Jag vill ändå inte. Jo, det går inte speciellt fort. Lovar du? Nyberg, har jag någonsin ljugit för dig? At 23rd of April 2005, Kanonen opened at Elisabeth Amusement Park in Gothenburg, Sweden. The name Kanonen is because you are launched out of the station by an hydraulic launch system. And Kanonen is Swedish for the cannon. Kanonen is an Intamin accelerator or a launch coaster. The track length is 440 meters. Ride time 1 minute 13 seconds. The roller coaster has two trains. One train can take 16 passengers. The ride capacity is 930 riders per hour. The launch speed is 0 to 75 kilometers per hour in 2 seconds. You dilated it like stirred it. Put your head against the headrest. After this amazing launch sequence, you are rocketed out of the station from standstill to 75 km per hour in just 2 seconds. The train shoots up the 90 degree hill and slowly passes over the top hat before plummeting down 90 degrees to almost right away enter a banked airtime hill which ends up in the ride's only loop. The train will take a right turn and immediately snap into a hard left over banked turn over the last airtime hill into a right turn which ends up with the last inversion of the ride, a hardline roll. After the hardline roll, the train will make a left and you enter the final brake run. And for this video, I have a treat for you. This is the transfer track that is used to take the train out from the garage out to the track and also put them back in, of course. I don't know why, but I just love to see the transfer tracks in action. Just a nice piece of technology. Incidents. I do find one particular incident on Kanonen, which happened that the train stalled on top of the top hat, which in itself is pretty impressive. It is pretty common that launch coasters have rollbacks. This means that the train did not gain enough momentum during the launch to clear the first hill, or in this case, the top hat. 
the train will just slowly roll back into the magnetic brakes along the launch track to make a new launch attempt. The most common reason to roll backs is because of wind or that the track is wet. But of course there is other factors as well, such as weight. At this moment Kanunen's train was perfectly loaded with the perfect weight balance. And also the launch was at perfect momentum, which meant that the train cleared the first hill but got stranded on top of the top hat. And there it was. The train was not going forward or backward. The firefighters were called to the park and went up with a ladder to talk to the riders. They managed with manpower to pull the train backwards so it slowly and safely rolled back into the brakes and to the station. The ride was deemed safe and they ride after that started operation as usual. Kanunen only did operate as usual until 30 of December 2016. This was the very last day of operation for Kanunen, at least at Lisebay. In the start of the new year 2017, Kanunen was dismantled to give way for the new roller coaster Valkyria. Where is Kanunen now? Is it in my backyard? Oh, I wish. And if that would have been true, I promise you that I would invite all of you for a ride in Kanunen. Kanunen was eventually sold and is actually standing today. It is not yet in operation though, because the place where it's going is a brand new park, which have not yet opened their gates. After being dismantled from Lisebay and sold to the new park Lost Island Theme Park in Iowa, USA, Kanunen went to spa. With spa I mean the full treatment. Everything is refurbished and repainted. The ride honestly looks brand new and, as you can tell, it is now green. The name of Kanunen at Lost Island Theme Park is not yet known. Do you miss Kanunen at Lisebay? I sometimes do. Not that I loved the ride when it was in the park, but now and again I miss that powerful launch. Don't get me wrong, I would never choose Kanunen before Valkyria, but there was something that I loved with Kanunen and that I will always miss. Thank you so much for watching this mini documentary about Kanunen at the amusement park Lisebay in Gothenburg, Sweden. I would also like to say congratulations to those happy people that live close to the Lost Island theme park that will be able to experience this ride very, very soon. And by the way, take care of our old roller coaster. As always, please like the video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment on what you want to see next. By the way, do you remember that in my last video I mentioned something about giveaways? I actually now in my hand have the first giveaway. When the channel reaches 600 subscribers, I will give one lucky person an album of the soundtrack of Lisa Barry by Imascore. How I will do this giveaway, I will get back to you about. So, stay tuned and put your head against the headrest.